Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my skincare products that I love to use when my skin is dry, irritated, or sensitive. I typically have combination skin, but over the past few months, my skin has just gotten very irritated and dry and sensitive. I've had dry patches pop up that haven't gone away, and it's just kind of been very different than it, um, been behaving very differently than it typically normally does. So I thought I would round up the products that I have been using because I really had to search through my stash when my skin started really changing. It'll go back to normal sometimes, and then other times it just flares up. So I thought I would kind of share with you the products that really have worked for me and that I really enjoyed using. So first, I like to stick with oil cleansers because I find them to be the most effective still. And the Tata Harper Nourishing Oil Cleanser is one that I've been reaching for over and over again. It's very thick. Uh, it's like a medium thickness, but it's very soft and softening on the skin. So afterwards, my skin feels very hydrated and smooth, though I, I do need to use like a warm washcloth to remove, to remove it. But I find that it, sorry, it was like a hair on my lip there. Sorry, I just like paused for a second. I was like, what is on my lip? All right, moving on. So the Tata Harper Nourishing Oil Cleanser, I remove it with a warm washcloth and it just really makes my skin very, very soft and smooth and hydrated. Like you can feel oil, not like there's residue on my skin, but there's definitely moisture there. And I can skip a moisturizer sometimes, though if my skin's feeling dry, obviously I don't want to. Next is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Cleansing Oil. Very thin, very lightweight, super gentle and great at removing makeup. It just instantly emulsifies with water to like a gentle milk and rinses right off. And my skin's not left feeling dry or tight. Now if we're talking um, cleansing milks, you know, I've just been sticking with um, the same one over and over again. It's the Soap and Glory Peaches and Cream. This is very, very creamy, very thick, and almost very cooling on the skin. So I find that my skin's very, like it soothes my skin and makes it feel very, um, calm after using it. All right, moving on to the toner category. I have been loving, as I've talked about before in many videos, still the 100% pure organic rose water emulsion. Now this is like a milky, almost like a milky essence. So I use it after I cleanse and sometimes I'll tone or just use like a facial spritz and then follow it with this. I'll spray it into my palms of my hand, my, my fingertips, and just press it into my skin. And it, the rose in it really helps to soothe my skin and calm it. Now, this is my second bottle of this because I just love it. The Darfon Intral Toner. Now, the entire Darfon Intral line is designed for sensitive skin. So this is a very, very soft and softening almost toner. You just put a little bit of cotton pad and, um, sorry, I like dusted my face with powder and then it's like little hair bits all over my face. I just use the cotton pad and just gently pat around the skin and it instantly helps to uh, calm the skin. And if you have any redness, it really helps with redness. And it doesn't feel uncomfortable. Like if you're um, patting it on any dry patches, it really helps to soothe them and just give a little bit of moisture. Okay, mask wise, I've been loving the Sicily Black Rose Cream Mask. It is definitely a splurge and definitely a luxury product, but it's so soothing and plumping and hydrating and calming. It just, it kind of just ticks off everything that I need for a mask, especially when my skin is feeling dry or irritated. Now next, I'm gonna talk about some face oils that I've been loving, then we'll go into moisturizers and then finish with like more targeted treatments. Okay, face oil, there's a few, select few that I've been reaching for and it's the Sicily Black Rose Face Oil. This, out of all of my kind of fancy anti-aging face oils, this is the one that really helps to, in addition to targeting anti-aging concerns, calm the skin. Soothe it, calm it. I can use it when my skin is feeling very irritated. Now, if my skin is extra irritated and I just need something that is of the utmost gentlest formula, the MV Organic Skin Care. Talked about this oil before. This is the Rose Plus Booster. Very lightweight. It even works well on dry patches like under makeup sometimes. I'll just dab a little bit on a dry patch and then let it dry just a little bit and then put makeup on top of it. Because obviously a lot of times I can't use certain oils 
before my makeup because my makeup will just slide right off. That one is one that I actually can. The Vintner's Daughter Active Botanical Serum. Really love this stuff. And I love it because it helps to balance my skin. So it is like an oil texture. I like to use it alone and it has really helped to balance everything out for me again. And I mean, there's sometimes where my skin will still go off balance even when I'm using this, but that is the one thing that I found when using this consistently is my skin just feels very balanced. It helps the dryness, it helps the oiliness. And it's very, very like soft and soothing for my skin. I have no irritations or breakouts or whatnot from it. All right, moving on to moisturizers. We've got another one from MV Organic Skin Care, the Rose Soothing Protective Moisturizer. <sighs> this whole line from MV Organic Skin Care, the whole Rose line is so amazing and gentle. This one is kind of just it's not too thick so it's a nice daytime moisturizer or like a nice nighttime no muss no fuss moisturizer you just need it to hydrate and soothe the skin this dr hauschka rose day cream has been one of my favorite uh daytime moisturizers i've talked about it in my morning skincare routine i love this stuff as you can see i'm almost done <sighs> but it is such a beautiful beautiful face cream and just very lightweight, but really helps to just hydrate the skin. And if my skin is feeling a little bit dry or sensitive, it helps to calm it. And therefore my skin is okay to put on makeup. Sometimes my skin is feeling irritated and I use certain moisturizers, it's like not helping me because then I'll put on makeup and then it gets drier. That is not the case with Dr. Hausch, but it really helps to like bring everything to a standstill before I put on makeup. All right, the, okay, let's start with this first. The Darfon Intral Soothing Cream. Another very, very soft, smooth, and soothing cream. That's why I call it, it's called the Soothing Cream. Very great to help with redness as well. I find my skin really, if it's very red, it really helps to kind of calm down after using that. All right, this next one is my Holy Grail. It really will target dry skin, calm your skin. And if you have any eczema patches or flare ups or anything, this is some miracle stuff. The Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. It's um, like a, a thick texture, but disappears quite nicely into the skin. I can use it morning, night. I apply it throughout the day, not over my makeup, but if I'm not wearing any makeup, I'll apply it to dry patches. And it really, helps to, um, it replenishes the lipids and improves the skin's natural barrier function, which has really helped with some dry patches that I've had. And it helps um, really kind of just any flare ups that I have. Um, I don't necessarily know if they're eczema, but they kind of look like a little bit of an eczema flare up. It really has, when other things have not worked, that comes in and kind of saves the day. Another great daytime moisturizer that really helps to comfort my skin, especially if it's very cold out, is the Sicily Comfort Extreme um, Face Cream. This is really nice. And if I need just a little bit of a richer cream for the day, that's beautiful. All right, the final products are, no, one more moisturizer. The Tatcha Soothing Triple Recovery Cream. This has indigo in it. Indigo is very healing. So this is a really great cream. I like this at night or even more of a spot treatment. And it really helps to um, heal any parts of the skin that is maybe just needs a little bit more healing. I don't know what that would be. Sometimes it's a dry patch. Sometimes it's an irritated patch. Sometimes the whole face needs it. Okay, the final products are more targeted treatments uh, for when my skin is at its worst. So the Tammy Fender Intensive Repair Balm. I like this, it has chamomile in it, so it really obviously helps to soothe the skin. It's very rich. It falls along the lines of a moisturizer, but I like to use it more as like a, as a spot treatment. All right, if that's not working, then I will move to the Worker Bee Rescue Putty. This is quite interesting. It's only beeswax, honey, and olive oil. So very unique, um, but really does a good job of just kind of calming an irritated patch. Then the May Lindstrom Blue Cocoon, I will pull out if nothing else is working. This is a fantastic, fantastic 
balm for really irritated patches on my face. And then I finally had to purchase this because I tried everything and nothing was working on a specific part of my face. And I had to go to Target and just look at this. This had great reviews. The Skin Fix uh, Sheer Face Ointment. It's an ointment. I don't like ointments, but it is amazing. It's for eczema, dryness, and dermatitis. And it has done wonders. It is steroid antibiotic and preservative free. I highly recommend trying this if you've tried other creams or ointments and nothing's really working for like a stubborn dry patch on your face like I've had. This has done wonders. So I will link everything down below. And if you have any other ones to add, I'd love to hear. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.